Okay, this is the second of two videos describing the electrical system of this Honda ATC 110. This is a 1979, and the 1979 and the 80s were identical as far as the wiring, and the, the ATC 50s were very, very similar. Um, these were our points engines, 79 and 80 are the last two years they made points. After that, they went to uh, um, the CDI, the Capacitive Discharge Ignition. All right, um, we're going to start here at the, uh, um, these two wires that are coming out of the magneto. There's a black wire and a yellow wire. The yellow wire goes to the uh, lighting system, and that's what we talked about in the previous video. The bla black one is for the ignition. Okay, it goes into this little cable here, and then the cable goes into the frame and uh, into the wiring harness. A lot of it's hidden, but I'll tell you what happens in there is it, first it splits off. One wire goes down here, comes out of the bottom of the frame, goes through the uh, the cylinder, comes out of here, and then it goes into the, into the points around this little little band here to this point, and when the points are closed, it goes through the points and it grounds. Okay, the the wire is green and it's inside a uh, a white. Uh, uh, insulator. So what you see is the Y, really. Um, okay, the wire, okay, I said part of it splits go down, goes down here. Uh, another part of it splits again, goes to the front where the headlight is, and also goes over to the, um, the coil on the other side of the frame. Okay, right now we're going to talk about this part here that goes to the points. Okay. You'll see most of the time the points are closed. So, um, for example, okay, they just closed, they're closed, closed, they're cl they just opened. Okay, now they're closed again, closed again, closed again. All right, just opening. So, most of the time, when they're closed, this circuit is grounded out. Your whole ignition is grounded out. Okay. When the points try to open up a little bit, as soon as they try to open, there was current flowing through there from the uh, magneto in the ground. So the current is going to want to keep flowing through there, and it'll, it will try to jump the gap. Well, if it jumped the gap and sparked, that would be a bad thing, because your points would get pitted, and they wouldn't last very long. So that's why we have a condenser. The condenser is over on the coil. The condenser is actually a capacitor. So as soon as this opens up, then the wire backs, the electricity, instead of trying to jump the gap, it will go in and start to charge up the capacitor. Um, the capacitor is two um, metal plates separated by a, an insulating material. So. Um, there is not really a circuit all the way through the capacitor. It just charges and discharges and holds the charge temporarily. So this point will begin to open and instead of sparking the uh, current will go into the capacitor and by the time uh, the capacitor is fully charged the point gap is too big to, to, to jump anymore and um, it's only like six volts so it won't, won't jump the gap. Meanwhile something else is happening. The um, Electricity is going through the primary of the uh, the coil. The coil. We'll take a look at it in a little while. It's on the other side of the of the block. In fact, we can look at it now. Okay, I didn't mean the other side of the block. I meant the other side of the frame. And this is the coil, and this is the uh, condenser. Okay, there's two wires coming into it. One is the green wire. They both come from under the frame, inside the inside the frame in the wiring harness. The green wire is a ground, and it, it grounds the uh, the framework of the uh, uh, coil. The uh, black wire comes in here. And it looks like it's soldered on, and it goes into the primary of the coil, and it's in parallel to it is the capacitor. So when you get a voltage, and the points open up and there's a surge of voltage coming through, it'll go through here and in through the, through the capacitor, into the capacitor. 
and it will go through a coil and now we're going to do just the opposite of what happens in, a, um, in the uh, magneto. So the wire going through the coil, I should back up. This is called a coil, but what it really is is a transformer. It's a step-up transformer. A transformer consists of two coils, and um, one's called the primary and one is a secondary. Okay, and the, whether it's a step-up or a step-down transformer is determined by the number of wirings in each coil, wrappings of the wire in each coil. Okay, so um, as this pulse of wire comes in when the points opens. Um, there's a surge of current going through here and there'll be a magnetic field expanding like an electromagnetic field so we have an electromagnet here and then it cuts the wires of the secondary and induces a very large voltage in the, into the uh, spark spark plug wire so this wire coming out going to the spark plug this is the secondary Okay, and it's a super high voltage, something like, I don't know, 20,000 volts, 40,000. Um, and that's what makes the spark. It'll go through the spark plug wire, through the center electrode of the spark plug, and then it grounds out on the threads. Okay, there's actually the, the, the wire, the black wire coming out of the magneto splits into three different wires. One of them we saw went to the points, one of them comes up here, and the other one goes to the front, to the uh, headlight. Let's take a look at that one now. As we mentioned earlier, there's um, the black wire that comes out of the magneto for the ignition, and it splits into three wires. One goes to the points, and then another one goes to the coil, which we've described already. And the other wire goes into the wiring harness and it comes out of the frame into the headlight. Um, that's the black wire here. Okay, the black wire connects to this wire that goes up to the um, on-off switch. The on-off switch, this one has seen us better days too, but the on-off switch is basically a kill switch. What it does, it connects these two, this wire here, the black to the green, and so the black is shorted out and that will stop the engine. Okay, that pretty much concludes this, this series of two videos. Between these two, we've described you know, where every single wire goes. And I hope you find it useful.